ನಮ ಪ್ರಣವಾರ್ಥಾ ಶುದ್ಧ ಜ್ಞಾನೈಕಮೂರ್ತ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸ್ಥಾಪಕಾ ಚ ಧರ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣೆ ಅವತಾರ ವರಿಷ್ಠಾ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾ ನಮಃ ಜನನೀ ಸಾರದಾ ದೇವೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಪಾದಪದ್ಮೇ ತಯೋ ಶ್ರುತ್ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುಹುರ್ಮುಹು ನಮ ಶ್ರೀಯತಿಜಾಯ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದಸೂರ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ಸುಖಸ್ವರೂಪಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೆ ತಾಪಹಾರಿಣೆ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಕ್ಟೋಬರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ತಿ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ವಾಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲೆಂಡರ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಟುಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಕ್ಟೋಬರ್ ಅದ ತಿಥಿ ವಾಸ್ ದಶಮಿ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸೆಸ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುರು ವಾಸ್ ಗುರುಪುರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ ಪ್ರಭು ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಗೌಡ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಗೌಡ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ ಕ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೊಂಕಣಿ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡ್ರಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಮೆಡ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ಹೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ದರ್ so whether he was born in madras i am not aware but his ancestral place is gurupur that 1892 he was born he had an elder brother and he must have had some other uh, uh, family some other siblings brothers or sisters i don't know i have to verify i have to find out the lineage family tree and uh, uh, that child when the child was boy was about uh, 92 was born october 31st and swami vivekananda came to madras in 1897 uh, sometime january 26 he landed in uh, january 26 1897 he set his feet when he returned from america he came and landed first in the indian subcontinent he came to colombo and all that and then when he came to the mainland india he first set his feet set his foot at a place in pambat in rameshwaram island and that place there is a memorial now and uh, that was on january 26 then he had a very cyclonic travel and he energized the country and he came to madras after 3 days in kumbakonam in between otherwise one day each one day each like that so sometime in february early february he came to madras and he gave there five lectures he gave there five talks and he stayed there for nine nights at some time at that time Pandurang Prabhu as a 5 year old boy so he was 5th uh, year running 4 year old boy because uh, this is October 31st 1892 he was born and it is 1897 and uh, not yet October so it is January so it is 4 and a half years old boy he was, uh, was taken to his mother and father they all went to meet uh, went to see Sri Swami Vivekananda have darshan of Swami Vivekananda and when somebody asked later this boy when he became a holy man a great well revered holy man and he is my guru I had my mantra diksha from him anyway so I will tell uh, I will continue when 
have you met that my holy man have you met did you meet swami vivekananda when this holy man was asked later when he was an old man he replied humorously i don't know i'm not remembering whether i met him since my parents took me there i'm sure he met me <laughs> that i can tell clearly he is swami so because it a uh, memory for on for on the half year old uh, he didn't uh, keep on held on to that memory i don't know how long we people keep our memories i my earliest memory goes back to some uh, when i am 5 or 6 i am not able to remember anything before that with clarity anyway so uh, he said i so viveka swami vivekananda swami that time i can guarantee surely anyway so that was about that meeting a very uh, fine meeting and we don't know we can't say anything about uh, these great people like swami vivekananda they vivekananda has said one i not only i people can uh, it spirituality can be given to another person like i give you a flower in the same tangible way spirituality can be given to a person another person swami vivekananda says and once he said do you think i simply lecture on the platform i give he fills the people with uh, knowledge and consciousness and higher consciousness all that do and he is able to see when swami vivekananda said once i mean very often when he is on the platform and he is seeing talking uh, lecturing to the people and they are like so malleable like butter in his hands so he can just uh, uh, influence their uh, uh, wits their brain their uh, Uh, knowledge their uh, wisdom you can influence their uh, comprehension their uh, uh, buddhi to such an extremely extent that he can sh- put it to any shape and once or twice he has stopped his lecture midway because he didn't want that control he didn't want people to he didn't want to influ- i mean uh, uh, do anything out of the natural it should be uh, uh, that power is too much power so he didn't want to you know, in, use that sometimes so once or twice like that swami vivekananda says i stop my lectures midway so that i didn't want to i didn't feel like uh, exercising that power so that was what swami vivekananda's personality if you have touched somebody if you have seen somebody you can't say what when what happened anyway he had seen his eyes had fallen his sight has his gaze has fallen on this young pandurga prabhu okay later he had uh, he came to read uh, uh, he started reading uh, sri ramakrishna and once uh, that i whatever i remember i am telling you now uh, from whatever i read of uh, swami restaurant is like that is what his name he later became swami vireshwarananda the he became the sangha guru we say though there is an opinion that sangha guru is sri ramakrishna and that vireshwar himself says guru is sri ramakrishna that about that i'll tell later uh, he became the president of ramakrishna mat and ramakrishna mission and uh, if you consider swami vivekananda and swami brahmananda both of them as the first president swami vireshwaranj will be 10th president swami vivekananda was general president at that time the nomenclature was that of the ramakrishna mission and uh, he was elected as general president in the meeting on 1st may 1897 uh, in balram bose house in calcutta when ramakrishna mission association was formed and uh, swami brahmananda was uh, elected as the calcutta president and swami ramakrishnananda as madras president and swami yogananda as vice president and interestingly the secretary of that ramakrishna mission association was one narendra nath sen uh, uh, journalist i uh, esteemed uh, uh, editor and if i am right it is editor of the editor of indian mirror newspaper he was elected as secretary the secretary post has now been is being called general secretary but actually that is all when the ramakrishna mission association was formed in association with the devotees monks and devotees but already there was an uh, this running uh, what do you call uh, uh, organization running varuna gurmat when sri ramakrishna disciples started and uh, assembly start started practically having a 
joint association joint uh, uh, when they were, they were associating with sri ramakrishna and then they formed a joint uh, they started joining together and started doing things together and uh, it it is it, it was called the mat and uh, actually the, the whole training for it the prepare the preparatory mat was in kashipur itself when sri ramakrishna was ill he was training them that was the you can say training center or ka dakshina so they were coming and meeting each other getting acquainted with each other but the real living together started when they were in when they are serving sri ramakrishna who was ill at that time in place in uh, uh, calcutta place by name kashipur kashi kashipur there uh, the first uh, preparatory sort of mat atmosphere grew up there they were doing dhuna they were uh, meditating together they were uh, doing the sadhanas they were getting the instructions and there sri ramakrishna called the rest of the disciples together and told them you follow this narendra and he called narendra separately and told i am taking leaving all these people in your care there he also in dakshineshwar he has started training sarada devi for uh, her role and uh, i was telling you have to do what or what i have done you have to do more and that he continued to say in kashipur you have to do and then uh, when mother came so sarada devi came with some food to feed sri ramakrishna sri ramakrishna was just uh, looking little longingly what do you call little forlornly uh, sort of oh you are not doing something like that uh, with that uh, gaze he was looking at sarada devi then uh, with a little complaining look then sarada devi said what is the matter why don't you take your food now no is it i alone have to do it is you also have to look after you have to look after these people all these disciples and uh, you have to do more uh, caring for your spiritual ministry then mother said uh, okay okay it will be done now you take your food so so all this training was going on training to all this preparing mother that much more happened in in kalka in rashtra so mother was getting pre, uh, getting was being prepared and uh, and mother was also both of them it is their ramakrishna and vivekananda are single entity anyway so now uh, swami vivekananda uh, leadership and others the elder brother is uh, narendra this sort of atmosphere grew up all the more tangibly in kashipur and now after that they all went to baranagar but they started taking a house on rent and started living together uh, in that uh, so that was called the mat so but it was an informal gathering informal organization narendra was their leader but when uh, swami vivekananda went to america and then he started uh, uh, his ideas of that f- there should be a formal thing the whole thing has to be formalized that time he wrote let uh, you have to arrange have some do things in a formal way now you have to in a much more what do you call systematic it, it was all going on the spiritual things were going on and they were also teaching somebody mathematics teaching somebody something some little uh, work uh, welfare works all been voluntarily i mean uh, automatically they were doing when they saw somebody in trouble they used to help that doesn't need to be any uh, what you call uh, meeting about it and all that it was going on naturally uh, then when uh, swami vivekananda found that state he saw the country the poor, uh, affairs of the country are such a sorry state of affairs and it organization was required that idea became firm when he went to when he was in usa and then he wanted that organization first that monastic organization should also has to be formalized that time swami vivekananda was in america so here the all the rest of the brothers he told them to go back come back they were all wandering in different places doing pilgrimages doing tapasya in different places himalayas or nagoda narmada narmada side all that was going on so he gave he told wrote all of them to call the contact each other and bring them all to the place where the relics of sri ramakrishna had been kept that was in uh, varanagar math so he uh, because sashi maharaj was there holding fixedly steadfast he was holding on to that place and there were always a few people with him few brothers with him others used to travel uh, wandering so he, everybody came back Brahmanji, Premanji, uh, all people, uh, Rakhandanji, they all returned to Barnagarmat 
and Swami Vivekananda started writing letters from USA inspiring everyone and then he said formalizing business when formalizing the monastic organization he told let Rakhal be president you should elect and uh, you should elect who will be your president all that you have to do but for now I suggest that let Rakhal be president and let Tulasi be secretary so like that so when the formalizing of the Ramakrishna Mutt started Swami Brahmananda was the president and Swami Nirmalananda was the secretary general secretary now we call general secretary and uh, they had uh, and what what all uh, secretary has to do he has to keep files and he has to keep a copy of letters and uh, all that so there was a room in uh, by the time they had shifted to not Barana Gurmat by the time they had shifted to Alam Bazar Mat. so the letters this this letter came while they were in Alam Bazar Mat. Uh, so there there was a room there called uh, uh, this is uh, Tulsi Maharaj room like that they are even know this day and there is a table chair and all that so that they had given effect to uh, Vivekananda's order so he had become secretary we can ask, uh, we can assume that and uh, Rakhal Raja Maharaj had become the president so in a way we can say the first president is Swami Brahmananda because uh, first leader leader was Vivekananda okay when the formalizing became uh, when it started getting formalized Brahmananda became president but in the Ramakrishna mission organization Swami Vivekananda was a general president so we, we hold both uh, Vivekananda and uh, Brahmananda as the first president and uh, in that way Swami Viresh Ranji whose birthday birth date 128th birth date he was born 1892 and now it is 2020 date is today 31st of October he is by the 10th president so that much about uh, the 10th president and now about uh, Viresh Ranji little more I will tell uh, a little later Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsa Sri Ramakrishna Panamastu Om Tatsat Om